And as Pride Weekend kicks off, there are some things that are going to be new downtown. Columbus will host its very first march tonight in support of transgender and non binary people. It starts at the State House in just a couple hours. NBC 4's Tyler Carter talked to the parade organizer and has more on the message they want to send tonight. Tyler? Bryden Sharon is one of the organizers of tonight's trans march. He tells me the reason why he is doing this march and what he hopes to get out of this and helps that others get out of this by sharing his message is for those who are struggling to help them find their true self. Yeah, so I was born female bodied and now I identify myself as a man. Bryden Sharon is a 31 year old transgender male. His parents named him Brittany. I don't look like a Brittany. <laughs> 15 years ago, Bryden started his journey to what he says was becoming his true self. I was a senior in high school, and then that's when I became afraid because I knew that I had to tell my parents. Bryden grew up in a small town in Ohio. He says living in a conservative community made it hard for him to be himself. Being told by other doctors that I need to focus on being a lesbian, being a lesbian and my lesbian phase that I'm going through and that being trans is not actually of existence. He says growing up he knew he was never one of the girls, getting bullied as a child and continuing through college. Yeah, I, I mean I was told to be in the, the girls line but all the girls were telling me that I was in the wrong line and I needed to be going to the boys bathroom but I knew that I wasn't allowed to be. Bryden says it wasn't until he met his first transgender male that he realized it was okay to be and love his true self. As the organizer of Columbus's first trans march, he was hoping to spread the message to young adults who were just like him growing up. I would tell them to just don't give up. Don't let all those people that are trying to push you down and change your mind to, to change your mind because you are the only person that actually knows who you are. Marchers will gather at the State House at 7.30. They'll go ahead and march to Bicentennial Park, and that march steps off at 8. Live and local for you, Tyler Carter, NBC4. All right.